What's going on, guys? Welcome back. I know I've been gone for so long. Like, what do I think I am? Who do I think I am? Like, thinking, what do I think I am? What am I talking about? But what's up? We're back. We're back. We're back. And while I was gone, you know what I mean? Uh, it's just my computer started fucking up, so I had to take it out to fix it. it took a while to get it back. Uh, you know, you know, you know how it is. I, you know how it is. COVID delay and everything and shit. I hope everything's been well. We're coming back, you know, we're going to post some videos up, you know, slowly but surely, you know, this machine is kind of slower. I'm waiting for, you know, I'm waiting for my upgrade to come through, you already know, but it's going to take some time, but we're here. Let's get to it. We're checking, today we're checking out Concerns Ape Haunted Chocolatier, are you heard? Like, yo, this is the dude that created Stardew Valley, or Stardew, I don't know if y'all know Stardew Valley, but like. Stardew Valley is fire. All right, you heard. If y'all not, if y'all have not played Stardew Valley, I need y'all to stop whatever y'all doing right now. All right, and go play some Stardew Valley. I heard it's fourteen dollars. It's on every. God, I believe it's on like almost every console. It's on PC. If y'all want to have like a better, softer, more like you know, hackable experience, then y'all can go to my PC. I'm looking at my cat. It's like. He just slumped on my couch. <laughs> like, I don't know what the, <laughs> was that all about. But, um, yeah, let's check out the video, shall we? You know what I'm saying? Let's get to it. Let's get to it, my friend. I already seen the video. I just want to watch it again because it's so good. Like, I love the music in it. Like, we're going to slow it down and break it up and going to talk about some information that um, he has released. I love the music, man. Oh. Woo! I need y'all to hear that because that shit fire. Woo! All right, let's check out this. Video. Look at my man. Look at yo. Look at his, his hair is floating. What? That's fire. Picking up some nectar. We got that little that little sound from picking up stuff. Got the ghost on the top right. Looks like they're your assistant. Different type of chocolate. I wonder if we if, are we just selling like oh you saw that that little like cookies and cream chocolate bar at the bottom? That's fine. I already know you got this. We got uh, Brooke. Brooke. I don't know if I'm butchering that, but I might be. We got Maddie. Okay. What's my girl doing there? <laughs> she in the game? I didn't know that. All right, we gift gift things. We got Jet. And then at the bottom, I'm assuming this Dust Dr. Tusk. Hey, we got Ni Nigel right here. Damn, he got the dome, yo. Look at the dome. I just got the dome. <laughs> Woo! Concerns A haunted chocolate here. <laughs> oh, shit. Yo, yo. In development, of course. You know, of course. Of course, yeah. You know I'm Like, again, if y'all have not played Stardew Valley, and you gotta go play that, all right? Yo, the music. Oh, Oh, the music is just fire. It's just fire. All right, all right. We're going we're gonna to rewind this, all right? And we're going to slow it down because, you know, we got to we gotta break it apart. We got to chop it up, you heard? All right, let's get to it. Let's kill the volume because we don't want to um, sound crazy. But, yeah, the game is developed by Concerned Ape. I believe he's working on this game by himself. Um, he's, I, don't, I don't think he has any help. He's been, you know, developing slowly but surely. Um, it has the same as like, it has the same like graphic palette or art style as Stardew Valley, but there's more like animations. It, like it looks way better. Like it looks like it went up a scale. You know what I'm saying? Like I thought at first when I first saw it, this is like our our. I'm assuming our haunted mansion. We got it. We even got a butler. If this is our mansion. It's a little room, you know what I'm saying? Look at the chest, bro. The chest. Look at the walking, bro. You got your leg. 
<laughs> Yo, look, look, like that's fucking clean. So yeah, we're uh, we're basically a, a chocolatier, so a chocolate maker. Um, we got our own shop. Yeah, that's our mansion. We got the kitchen at the bottom. I don't know if we get this mansion from the jump or because you know our house. We and Stardew Valley, you can upgrade your house and has more space. And then that door that takes you to like, like what's that door? You know what I'm saying, like. Like, what's that door about? You know, hold on. Let's pause that. Like, let's go back real quick. Like, like, what's this door? Like, what does this mean anything? Is this like a, like a Narnia door that it takes you to like a different world for you to get like spices and shit like that? Because remember, and if for those that play Stardew Valley, you know what I'm saying? For the people that are checking out this video, I'm sure you have. And for the newcomers, in Stardew Valley, in the village, you don't have monsters. You have to go like in the mines or in the secret woods or like in, in swamps, stuff like that. Like, they're not in like the local area. Um, so what I'm thinking is that this is a door that teleports you to like a different, like maybe like a different dimension or like a fantasy world or like, again, since you have ghosts in your fucking mansion that are helping you, you know what I'm saying? It's not, it's not outside of the, you know, it's not outside like the realm of possibility that you have a door that links you to, you know, like another world. So yeah, let's keep going. Um, then we look here, I don't know, that looks like a branch, and you got like a, a shield, you also got a crossbow, which, Stardew Valley's combat was not the best, it's, it's really not the best, look, we can see here, he's taking out some crows, um, right here we look like you're just harvest, harvesting, um, stuff from the overpass, like this looks like the, kinda like the overworld, you know what I'm saying? Like the village or maybe like the outside area. Because if we go back right here, there's like a fire tower. That's a fire tower. You see that? They, they have like a fire risk. Um, and yeah, I'm assuming somebody's up there. You know what I'm saying? And they, they have like a photo. Uh, I'm going to post it up. That they show somebody looking out for the fire tower. But uh, yeah, this is probably like that world. You know what I'm saying? That we're at. Like that would go through the door. Here we see picking up some... Hugberry, I believe it's it's called Hugberry, yeah. So you can pick up the Hugberry, like this is like mango, come on. This is like the bushes, um like in Stardew Valley that we used to pick up, you know, uh like the salmon berries and the blackberries. But here, you know, they're just in the overpath. You can pick up it's a different type of berry. Um and then the milk that we got from the from the monster that we kill. It looks like we combine it. But like do we make the chocolate? Because that chocolate bar was already made. Like, he's making something else. And this is the shop that we're decorating. So, it looks like the shop you can upgrade it. Because this is, like, the beginner shop that you get. And then, as the trailer goes on, you see, like, a different shop. This is a different type of chocolate we can sell. Chocolate bar looks like, like, the basic one. Like, the, like that's the... the let's pause it real quick. Because there's a lot of information right here. Real quick. Eee, real quick. Eee, I, <laughs> um... So, right here, we check out, we got, like, a cookies and cream chocolate bar. It might take, like, maybe different ingredients to make. This is another different type of chocolate right here. Maybe it looks like more like a caramel cone type. This is another type of chocolate, and this is the, the truffle chocolate, or the simple truffle. Um, There's another type of chocolate that he's making, and here at the bottom, there's another type that the ghosts are carrying. Not the pink one, the one behind the pink one. That's probably another type of uh, chocolate. And yeah, these are just... I wonder if you could talk to... Uh, these are like regular town people that you could talk to or interact. Or are these just like, you know, regular NPCs that come in the shop. But yeah, you can see the shop is bigger too. Um, or Lily's in the game too. Okay. So you will see my... All oh, right, she looks like a more like mythical person. This is uh, probably the person that's going to be upgrading our weapons, uh, most likely. <laughs> Yo, he's sweating. <laughs> but yeah, I'm down with it. They don't show any other weapon aside from that stake, the shield, and the... Um, look, now you have a gif at the bottom, uh, at your bottom left. Hey, Maddie. Hey. Oh, this is, this is really interesting. Now you have choices of what you answer. In, in his prior game, Stardew Valley, you did have choices, but they weren't that common. Like, they were maybe like, oh, shit. They maybe like selected scenes that had them. Um, here we see we, we can gift gifts. I wonder if we wrap the gifts. Um, 
and then we give it to them. Or is it just like anything we grab, we gift them? This is the player with other uh, town people, Jet, and that's the doctor right there at the bottom. Tungsten. I wonder what type of research they're doing. And this is like like the bar that um, you had, like the saloon in Stardew Valley. This is more like a tavern. And Nigel, okay. Not just like the old man, you know, probably that knows that everything that gets all gospel. This is probably where they, you like first get introduced, most likely. Since everybody's like approaching you and stuff. I don't know. This game looks amazing. That's all I got to say. It's God dang. Woo! This game. I'm telling you. This game looks glorious. Glorious. Like hands down. Glorious. You know what I mean? Like the best. Like oh my gosh. This game looks amazing. Like I'm already looking forward to it. The, it looks like the comic's a little bit a bigger of an aspect now. Um. Which I'm definitely, definitely looking forward to. Because I like... I liked, the thing about Stardew Valley is that they gave you, like, different things to do. It wasn't just, like... Because it's, it's basically, like, a a farming simulator. Or, you know, like a like a dating sims. But, it, I mean, like a, da like a farms and dating sim. But it also has, like, other components. Like, you have the dungeon. You know, you could just... Like, if you wanted to, you could just hit the dungeons after it opens. And you could do nothing. You could play as a like a miner and a dungeon seeker and just sell whatever you find there or like or upgrade your tools that way too. You know what I'm saying? Like you don't even have to farm, like if you don't want to. Like or you could be a fisherman, you know, just fish, like the whole entire game, just fish, fish, fish. You're not gonna be able to complete, you know, certain objectives in the game, but you know, you don't have to if you don't want to. That's the thing. Like you could play for years as whatever you want and start the battle. But here it is more of a focus in combat and you know you making chocolate um i mean can certainly this say that this is like the meats and potatoes of the game so it's like nothing like crazy you know this is like the basic of basics basically you know what i mean like it's not he's not like shelling out uh he's not saying that it's like done or anything yo my cat look i don't know if y'all can see him look at him just going crazy but anyways um yeah, like he said, this is like the beginning of the game. Like he's still working on it. There's some rumors out there. I'm gonna put the screenshot right here that the like the year it says like 2023 that it may be released. But again, like we don't know. It could be. Like I hope, I hope, I hope it is. But even if it's released, then like he still has another game that he's working on that is tied into Stardew Valley. So maybe that one he's working with the team. But this one he said he's working on its own. So this is more like his passion project. So I can already expect a great, a great game. Like, you know what I mean? Again, for those who have not tried Stardew Valley, I need you to go try Stardew Valley. Like, it's just, it's just, an, it's just amazing. Like, I don't know what the hell that is right there. I think that's part of my life. Hold on. You see, I'm, I'm, I don't even have my regular setup because I got the switch in the back. Yes, sir. But yeah, like, um, like I'm looking forward to this game. This game is amazing. I'm looking forward to it. I need it. I need it. Um, and hopefully, you know, he has like a, like an early release on Steam. I'm definitely going to cap, I'm going to, you know, cop it, play that shit, make some videos. I might, I might play some Stardew Valley on Steam, uh, just to, just to, you know, just to post some videos on the channel. Maybe do like a modded series just to show like how easy you can have like a, some chill. Or then just do like a regular, you know, just do whatever maybe do like a fishing series and just be a fisherman like see if we could survive a whole year just straight fishing like you know see how much money we make at the end type of shit so i can show you like how diverse that first game is like it's just incredible but anyways i'm just i just i'm just i'm just little, 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 i'm just keep right i'm just talking to me shit right now but anyway thank you so much again we're gonna come back slowly but surely i posted the end of uh miles morales hope you know shameless plug hope y'all check it out I know it's kind of like late, you know, the game is already out, but, you know, that Spider-Man, uh, Marvel Spider-Man 2, you know, it's, it's, you know, it's slowly creeping up. Nothing has been released yet, but, you know, we got our eyes out, we got our eyes peeled, but, yeah, thank you very much. Uh, hope y'all having a great time. Hope y'all having uh, an amazing day out here, you know, stay safe, and y'all already know. Hope y'all enjoy it. If anything, drop a like, share. Comment down below. I love talking to you guys. Whatever you do, comment. Uh <laughs>